The recent updates to the Mini 3, it is a little bit easy to get overwhelmed with all the different settings and adjustments that you can now make. Configurability is great, but if you just want five simple settings to make sure you get that perfect smooth flight, watch on. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. And as I said, look, the Mini 3 Pro had a few updates lately that brought it a fair few uh, new features, including changes to the advanced gimbal and EXP settings. Now, I did do a video on the full update the other week, and I'll link to that here if you want all the details for all the settings. But in truth, there are only a few settings that really make all the difference to get smooth video and easy flying. So that is what I'm gonna talk about today. First off, let's get the drone up in the air and make sure that we're all connected fine. First off, let's make sure you've got some of the basic settings right. So whilst the drone's up in the air, tap the three dots top right and go for the first tab, mark safety. The main setting I wanted you to check is the obstacle avoidance mode below. This is what the drone does when it flies up to an obstacle. You should find setting this to brake mode gives you far smoother flight than bypass mode. Bypass will affect your flight in many ways, including unwanted height gains when you're flying along low, as well as making the controls quite jumpy and sensitive when you touch the sticks. If you look here, when I tap the right stick to move sideways in bypass mode, it jumps quite quickly. Now, if I change the setting to brake mode, when I tap the same stick, you see the drone only moves slightly and very gently and smoothly. So for me, this is one of the most important settings to get right. Next up, we need to check a few settings in the new advanced gimbal and expo screen. This screen had a major update a few weeks ago and now has a, a fair few settings to play around with. Some are useful and some, to be frank, are best left alone. So let's start with the basics. Remember you have got three sets of settings here, one for each of your flying modes, cine, normal or sport. Any change you make in these settings will only be reflected when you're flying in that corresponding flight mode. Now on this screen, there are only two or three things that you wanna get right. First off, max horizontal speed. This is literally how fast you can fly and it is one of the more useful new settings that DJ added the other week. But for me, it is actually only a useful to reduce this in cine mode when you might wanna be flying very gently and slowly, especially if you're flying in woods or trees. That sort of situation, you're gonna to want to have the value right down. But if you're flying up high above everything, then it's probably best that you leave this at a higher value or you'll just find that you'll be flying too slowly. So you really wanna get used to changing the value of this depending on where you're actually flying. Now the next setting on this screen is I think the single most important setting to get right as it is, has the biggest effect on your video. It's the max angular velocity or your speed, which is literally how fast the drone swivels around to the left or right. This is easily the worst thing I see on videos and yet it is so easy to fix. You wanna have this uh, slide right down, get it, get it right down both in cine mode and normal mode, get the level down to around maybe 10 or 15 in cine mode, maybe a little bit higher in normal mode. At the same time, you wanna increase the yaw smoothness. Now this is a really important setting as well as it slows down the start and the end of the rotational movement. If you have the value low, you get a sudden start and a sudden stop, as you can see here. Bring the value up to 70 or 80 and you get a nice gradual start and a slow, gentle stop when turning. So super smooth and very useful in both cine and normal modes. Now below that, you have got brake sensitivity, which I have done a couple of fun videos on. My strong advice here is to leave this alone, set up high, to its maximum probably. This is literally how fast you want the drone to stop when you let go of the sticks in whatever direction you're flying. The way I see it, if you're flying and you let go of the sticks, you want that drone to stop as soon as possible. I don't think it affects the video smoothness at all, but it will have plenty of impact if it takes so long to slow down that it sails into something. So for me, leave brake sensitivity up high. Then moving down, we've got another setting that is really important for smooth video. Down the bottom, it's called max control speed or gimbal pitch. This is how fast the gimbal pitch is up and down when you move the wheel on the back of the, uh, of the remote here. For me, I want this right down to about 15 degrees per second in both cine mode and normal modes. This is gonna give you a really nice, gentle up and down pitch motion, especially if you are very light and delicate with your movement on the wheel. Now again, you also want that smoothness setting right up. This is the, again, the little buffer that smooths and slows things down at the start and the stop of the pitch. 
And I do find that having the setting up high around 70 to 80 is about right. So you get that nice gentle start and that gentle stop motion when you're moving that camera and you let go of the wheel. So that's it, nice and simple today. There are plenty of other settings to play around with, including the EXP uh, stick sensitivity settings, but look, they're all covered in a longer video. Today, I just wanted to get a short, simple summary of what I think are the five most important settings to get right to make sure you get the very best and smoothest flight uh, out, of, uh, out of your drone. So look, as ever, if you like it, give me a little thumbs up. Wherever in the world you are, I hope the weather is being kind to you. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.